Awesome, so you decided to check out the demo video. Now let's jump in right away. So just like that, we're online and we are inside the Convertifier application. Really, really neat stuff. As you can see, it's really, really big. Judging on the sidebar, we got recordings, conversion funnels, surveys and polls, click maps, heat maps, scroll maps, form analysis. We got the agency edition, which will be available as a second upsell and the masterclass as a first upsell. And we got your support, our knowledge base and the general account button where they can change their account details. And due to the magnitude of this entire application, I'm only going to showcase a couple of features because it's just too darn big to showcase everything right now in a short uh, video. But I'm gonna do my best right here. First thing I wanna show you is adding a website. Go to the site right here, click on the overview button and I wanna activate a new domain. Now for test purposes, I'm gonna use test.com. Click on generate license and just like that, it's added to the site overview. All the owner of test.com needs to do is to copy this line of code and paste it between the header tags. That's all there is to it. When this site is activated on the Convertifier application and this thing right here, this line of code is detected on the website, it will start recording everything it has access to. Yeah, simple as that. Right now, I'm gonna go back to the side overview. I'm already on the side overview. And I'm gonna delete this one right here because this is obviously not a real site. And just like that, the site is deleted. Now with that said, I immediately wanna go into the recordings feature right here, which is probably one of the most awesome features we have with Convertifier. And after clicking the button, it redirects me to the site recordings overview. As you can see, all the domains are listed right here in the left. It has recordings on marketing released, our company, Code Day, another cool website, Convertifier itself. Uh, it's not showing recordings yet, but that's because we are excluding our IPs. Probably something I need to show you right now and show you the importance of that. Let me just go to this one right here. If you click on the cock wheel, for example, for this Dutch uh, website, for example, you get a couple of options and you can exclude your IP address. So why is this important? Because if you are a designer or if you are the owner of the website or if you are a copywriter and you spend a lot of time on your own website, you might want to consider to exclude your own IP address from all the data because you are going to click on a bunch of stuff and this will obviously be recorded as well. And it will be shown in the heat maps, scroll maps and the recordings. And that's when you need to ask yourself, do you actually want to showcase your own data? Uh, knowingly, this isn't real user data. Obviously, you do not want to do that, so you want to exclude your own IP address. You can even exclude devices from being tracked. Uh, you can exclude desktop, computers, tablets and mobile as well. Now, with that said, that's something I wanted to show you. I'm not going to exclude anything right now because we want to record everything. So yeah, we're back at the same page right here. It's the site recordings overview again. And you have the sites that are being recorded right now, right here, and the recording amount. I want to go to this e-commerce website right here and I'm going to watch recordings from users that were behind a desktop computer. You can also do tablet or mobile, but I want to show you a desktop recording. And boom, just like that, we have all the desktop recordings right here. It's even three pages long. You can search in this table right here. For example, uh, it's a Dutch website. Um, so a lot of people from the Netherlands are on this website, but also people from Belgium. Yes, people from Belgium also speak Dutch. So if I want to only showcase the people from Belgium, I simply type in Belgium and it gives me all the recordings from Belgium. If I want to filter on Windows, it will show all the recordings from users based on Windows. Yeah, really cool stuff. Right now, I just wanna 
see if I got a cool one right here. Let's just pick this one. So this is a user from the Netherlands on a Macintosh and using the Safari browser. I'm gonna hit the play button. It opens up the recording in a new tab. Now before I'm gonna hit the play button right here, I'm gonna explain a couple of the features right here. So right now you are watching the recording right here and on the right side you got your actions tab, the sessions info tab and the survey. Now the survey, if the user of the site, uh, as in this case, had enabled this survey, it will pop up a survey in the right lower corner of the site where a user can fill out questions, yeah? So for example, you can ask them open-ended questions, closed questions, uh, multiple choice questions, just to get some more data from them and see if they really like the experience on your website. If that data is collected, it will also be shown right here on the survey tab. Really, really neat stuff. It will also have some cool analytical graphs and pie charts and all that good stuff in the actual app as well on their surveys and polls. But we'll get to that later. Right now, uh, sessions info. This is a person from the Netherlands living in Naaldwijk, Zuid-Holland. And this is the date of the recording. This is the time of the recording, the actual size of their uh, desktop, which browser they've been using and which uh, operating system they use. Really, really neat stuff, all the information you need. And then let's head back to the actions tab. And this is actually where the magic happens. These are all the actions that are being performed on this particular website. Really, really neat stuff. You can even add a custom event if you want to do so. So for let's say on the four minute time mark and I wanna pause the video and add a custom event, it will be added on the four minute time mark. And this can be anything. This can be a note, anything. So right now I just wanna go and hit the play button right here. Let me speed up the recording four times the speed. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. Let me pause the recording. As you can see, the user entered this website with this cursor right here on this spot. Went to the top, went down, up, down, up, and down again. And I immediately get some, some hunches, some assumptions from this. Uh, this user is actually interested in this particular tree right here and probably interested in the way this stuff is set up and how it's able to stand based of the color right here because the cursor has been lingering on this part of the page the most now so this has shown that mouse movement correlates with eye movement so it's probably watching this the most then goes up and down and so on i can easily take off those options as well you can simply view the recording as is but you will want to have this extra data so it reveals a pattern of how this particular user is browsing your website yeah so before moving on I want to click on this cogwheel right here I can skip the inactivity but I do not want to do so because there's going to be a pop-up very soon I guess that's something I just want to show you because the pop-up is just very, very sexy. Now, um, we got the auto fade on click. So whenever a user clicks on a specific element on your website, it will fade all the other elements like the tracking line, like the live heat map, so that you can see where the click is being made. Really, really neat stuff. Um, you can change the background color, which, which are the black bars right here. You can also change the tracking line color as well but I like it black so I'm gonna leave it at that and as you can see right here in the lower part of the player it shows the current URL the user is browsing on this will change whenever the user goes to a another URL on your page as you will see in just a bit I'm gonna hit the play button again there we go and this is actually what I wanted to show you 
says hold on inactivity detected we have detected that there will be 35 seconds of inactivity so what you can do right now you can continue watching and this will include all the inactivity you can skip this specific part of inactivity or auto skip each and every uh, next inactivity i'm gonna auto skip every inactivity because there's not going to be much data together in inactive parts of the session and now, as you can see, it skipped almost a minute or so. I'm gonna hit the pause button and please put your attention on the right. As these events, these clicking events happen, these mouse moves happen, these inactivities happen, they will go and become blue or grayish, if you will. And I just misclicked. You can obviously click on each and every event for example if i click on this event right here it will take me to that specific part of the recording really neat stuff yeah and as you can see on in exactly five seconds this page will change and this user will click on this buy button right here adding this christmas tree to his cart we go and it seems that this buyer is committed and is probably going to fill out each and every field right now and if that's the case then I'm need then I need to blur out those details because everything will be shown to you I'm gonna hit the play button again and as you can see he's now filling out his name First choosing a male name, then a female name. It's kind of funny. Putting in his address, postcard number, city, his address, his email address, and his phone number. Or something went wrong, all the fields are now empty. It's pretty neat stuff, right, to see how another user is ordering stuff from your website. There you go. So I'll select the payment processor and his bank. There we go. I'm gonna cancel this, or it will be automatically playing the next recording. And as you can see, this is how the user navigated through the entire order process. So if you follow that line, filled out all the fields right here, added this to cart and probably made the purchase. Now, if the payment processor was on our side, we would obviously be able to track that as well. Really, really neat stuff, right? So yeah, that's the recordings in a nutshell. So I'm going to close this run up right now. And as you can see, each and every feature is probably this big. So I'm going to do my best to show you just a couple of more features and then finish this recording off. So up next are click maps and I'm going to click on the click maps icon right there. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, this website as well. Again, it's the e-commerce website we used in the previous recording example or demo as well right now i'm gonna click on the actions tab right here there we go and it has all the clicks right there for you it's being sorted currently on belgium germany and the netherlands and soon we will have the option to show all the clicks in one type of color and more filtering options, even on device type, even on the OS people are using, even on uh, the, the countries you're currently seeing and more cool filters you can use. Right now it's showing all the clicks right here. And as you can see from this click map, a lot of people are clicking right here on the buy button and on the amount they want to order. They actually click on the pictures as well to see how the Christmas tree looks like in separate occasions and in separate settings. And that's the click map for you. You can even select a date, for example, 
I do only want to show you clicks from the 2nd of December. It will have less clicks. If I go all the way up to today, let's see how many clicks we did. Zero clicks today. That's not good. We need more traffic. There you go. These are all the clicks that are made yesterday. Really awesome stuff, right? So that's the click map for you. Um, yeah, let's go to the heat map section right here. I'm gonna use the same exact site. Again, I'm gonna use this one right here. Same principle, only shows the heat on the pages. Like I said in the uh, recording example, the recording demo, the heat that is generated is based on the amount of time a cursor is lingering on the page. Because studies have shown that mouse movement correlates with eye movement. For example, they are actually looking a lot at these pictures right here and this piece of text right there. I'm gonna move the slider up a bit. So it changes the opacity so I can see through the heat map. I see what they are looking at. Right here there is some heat generated and it's mostly located on the word, the Dutch word for do it yourself. Kinda is important seems to the users. And if I put the opacity back up, was more heat generated on this part of the page. I'm gonna put it down again. And it's probably due to the fact that either this is a red picture and it grabs a lot of attention because it stands out of the entire website, just like the button right here. Or it's a slider button and people just continue to click on that button to continue to the next Christmas tree. Hope that makes sense. And that's the heat map for you. Can grab a lot of data from that so now we're back at the dashboard and right now I'm gonna hit conversion funnels and I'm gonna show you a quick demo of what you can do here conversion funnels is basically a tool that allows you to keep track of your conversions funnel wide it's very easy I actually already created one for convertifier and let me just show you how this stuff goes uh, you select a name select the funnel domain and specify your pages these are the pages actually actually let me just go back and create one for the pre-launch sequence I'm gonna add one right here I'm gonna choose convertivire.io click on add new and I name this convertifier pre-launch add pages to the funnel one is going to be named revealed and right now they are all called video but we are going to change the name so I got to make a note about that as well there we go that's the one alrighty gonna save the funnel and that's how easy it is. So if I'm going to go inside and click on the statistics icon right here, you can see the entire thing. So this is basically the pre-launch funnel and these are going to be my statistics. Obviously there's not any statistics right now, but you can make them as long as you possibly want. And I'm speaking of the funnels. You can compare the funnels. So for example, the difference in uh, conversions and the drop-off rate, and you can compare old and new funnels. 
after you made changes. Hope that makes sense. And just like that, we're back on the dashboard. And the last and final feature I'm going to show you is the surveys and polls feature. Right now, I'm gonna add a new survey or poll, and I'm going to add it on this website and this page right here. If you got the script installed, each and every page will be featured right here in the dropdown. Right now, I'm gonna click on add new, make the survey active, and put in a thank you message. Thank you. And make it a one choice question. Do you like it so far? Option yes, and add another option, and no. There we go. I'm gonna save the survey right here. And I'm gonna create another survey for this website right here on trafficsource.php. I'm gonna add it and I'm gonna make it active. Set up a thank you message right here as well. And then this is going to be a, uh, let's go with the open-ended question. Do you like this software? So far, I'm gonna add another question. Let's delete that. Let's add in a rating. Please rate your experience from one to five. There you go. And I'm gonna do a one choice question again. Is everything was the login procedure easy? Let's make it process like this. Yes, and add another option. No, and I want this question to be on top of the other questions. So I'm gonna drag and drop that right there. I'm gonna save the survey. And there we go, that's the survey, and it now should be installed on the website. So, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this website right here. And there is the survey. So it asked me, do you like it so far? I'm gonna put yes and submit, and close this one up. Then I'm going to log in right here. Sign in. And it will pop up the other survey as well. Was the login process easy? Yes. Do you like it so far? Yes. And I'm gonna rate it five stars, so to speak. So that's the survey right there for you. Now there is one thing I do want to show you. Uh, the surveys will have a cool range of uh, pie charts, graphs, and giving you all the analytics you need. Uh, but what I actually want to show you is this right here. We are going back to the recording section uh, where we have uh, started off the video in the beginning. And we are going to this website right here, shortener the link. I'm gonna head over to the desktop recordings. And then I'm gonna find the recording I have just made of myself filling out the survey. There we go. And this should be it. So right now we are on, on this recording right here. I'm gonna hit the play button. There we go. You can see me entering the website right here, filling out the survey. And before I go, let me click on the pause button and go to the survey tab. Right now you can see what I have answered. Do you like it so far? It says yes, and that's my answer. So I'm gonna leave this uh, tab open for now and hit the play button. Now you will see me logging in and it will move over to the next survey in the right area as well. Let's go and pause this video real quick. One thing I do wanted to show you is the password field right here. It's protected and it says protected field. We are not capturing that data. Um, however, if your script is on, installed on the very next uh, page as well, um, it will pick up from there again. There we go. This is the next survey. Everything is already set and done right here. 
you can see what I've answered. Was the login process easy? Yes. Do you like the software? Yes. And please rate your experience. A really, really neat stuff. There we go. So basically this allows you to put the intrinsic motivators and feedback in connection with recordings and heat maps and scroll maps and all that good stuff. So I hope this makes sense. Now with that said and done, uh, this is the demo right there for you. Again, there are some features left out in this demo because it's just too darn big. I think we're already closing into the 30 minute mark and I do not want to keep you any longer.